Hello. Let me adjust. There. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Hi, Gigi. Hi, Vintage Crazed. Welcome. Welcome to my weekly live YouTube sales. Oh, hi, Laura. Laura, I don't, oh, it's laying down here. It's laying down here. I know what Laura wants. Every time I see the, these things, I always think of Laura. Hi, Michelle. Okay, so welcome. Welcome to my live weekly YouTube sales. I have over 60 items that I'm going to sell today. I'm a little nervous because I got a lot of big things. So it's going to be a little, hmm, a little bit trip, tricky to ship, but that's okay. So the way that this works is I have over 60 things. I'm going to hold that thing up. Everything has a number assigned to it. The first person to type in that number in the chat will be able to purchase that item. All you will need to do is send me an email at thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. It's in the description. You can look at it later. And I need your actual name, your YouTube name, your full shipping address, your PayPal email. I, uh, I only accept PayPal. You can pay with your debit card or credit card via PayPal. It is just the, um, the processor of that payment. But that's what I use for my business purposes. So I, I do just do PayPal. Um, what am I forgetting, Graham? Oh, I, shipping is not included. So you will have an additional shipping fee. And Grandma's here. Grandma's sitting right here next to me now. Let me Hello. see if I can look. Hi. He's sitting right next to me. I moved his desk. So now I just moved the camera. All right. So welcome, Michelle. I'm looking forward to Michelle's. Michelle Comfy Cozy Living is having a live sale tomorrow because she's going to dress up. I'm being lame. This is my costume. And I honestly I was. I thought about it. I know. I, it didn't even dawn on me that it was like. See, I thought about it this morning and I knew you were already here. Yeah. And I was like, dang it. Halloween is Saturday. And I had, once upon a time, I had little cat ears and I couldn't even find those this morning. Mm -hmm. So I wore my cheetah because I'm selling some leopards. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm doing a theme. You're All right. Yes. I am. Okay. And I also, I have a couple things too that were not claimed last week and a couple weeks ago. So I might show those as well too. I have them set aside just in case we have time. I'm going to show some on Instagram. And you, if you're not following me on Instagram, you need to go do that right now because after this sale is over, I'm going to go onto Instagram and have an after the sale sale where I show even more items and I do a giveaway every week on Instagram. And she's super close to what, 10,000? Yeah, and I'm super close to my 10,000 followers. Then I get the swipe up. You know, the old swipe up? Mm -hmm. I don't even know how to even use it. I mean, I know how to use it, but I, I don't know how I need to go about getting that, but I know that you get it after 10,000. Yeah, everybody get her that. Yeah, so go follow me on Instagram. We gotta get that. That thumbs ups, or no, the swipe up. But you give me a thumbs up too. <laughs> I'm not gonna bring out Jeffrey just yet. I will ha if I need to. I will. Yeah. All right, baby Jeff, baby Jeff. Jeff's up there. All right. He's sitting up there. He's getting on my nerves today. He's sitting over there. He's way far away from me, so I don't have to throw him around. Yeah. If, All right. As long as you. What I this. bought, Adam and Christy. What you yeah. bought last week. You bought the fairy lamp last week. I it shipped out on. Saturday. So I did send you a tracking number. So make sure that you check your email and check on that tracking number. It should yeah. be there any day. As long as you give us your info, you're good to go. But if you don't say anything, then we're probably going to resell it. Yeah. No, she, she. No, no. I mean like for other people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I need your info. If I don't have your information, like if I don't have your shipping address or okay. any way to contact you, then yeah. I can't, I mean, I can't send it to nobody. I can't just send it. So, yeah, so, uh, Christy, make sure that you check your the tracking number. And if you have you, if you can't find the tracking number, email me after the show, and I'll, I'll send it to you again. Wow. Okay, let's get started. All right, I got my champagne bucket full of dreams in here. Yes, there's Rushton. I have Rushton. I have Pay by Number. I've got Fenton. I've got Fairy Lamps. I've got Treasure Craft. I got good stuff today. I got good stuff today, guys. Hi, Sugar Bridges. 
All right, first thing is, oh wait, wait, before I start, I forgot about one thing. I just recently got my shipment of my little stickers here. They're perfect for your laptop. Nice. They're perfect for your, I put mine on my Yeti cup. You can put them on your car. You can put them wherever you want to. I put mine on my closet door. Yes, it Graham has awesome. So these are really durable. Um, I did order them from, where did I get these from? I do not know. <laughs> do you want me to Ah, go? Sticker Mule, Sticker Mule. Um, so these are really nice. They say, stay we weird, thrifter junker, vintage hunter. They are $4. So I have, I have several of them. They are $4. If you want one, make sure that you, when you send me a message, even if I have your, your contact information, if you want, a sticker you have to you have to send me an email that you want a sticker or you want two stickers or however many stickers you want don't say it in the chat don't say it in the chat send me an email thrifter junker vintage hunter at gmail.com and we will stick these in your order and your invoice even if so, you didn't buy anything just email us and we can yeah send in your yeah if you didn't buy one they are uh four dollars free shipping uh so or we'll just tuck them in to your order now we can start. All right. The first thing is this beautiful. So can we get a sticker even if we don't win anything? Yes. Yes. Just send me an email with, I need your shipping address. And I'll put it in an envelope and I will send it your way. Yeah. All right. So first thing we got is this beautiful little bird. Well, let me wait a second. Mm -hmm. Also, in the subject of your email, put sticker or something to differentiate it from everything else. That might help too. All right, we have this beautiful, kind of like a um, Majolica-esque uh, bird. And it is made in Japan. You can see it's stamped, made in Japan. It's in excellent condition. I have my little helper, my little helper in here. It is in perfect condition. It has no chips, no cracks, no flaws on it anywhere. This is something that I did get from Luke, if y'all remember that. Got this from Luke. Hi, Rebecca. Rebecca's here to help. Thank you, thank you. So this little guy is $16, and it's number 57. $16, number 57 for the bird. Yeah, y'all can take a drink. Jocelyn, mm -hmm. this is a Jocelyn thing. $16 for the bird wall pocket. All right. Roxana Sellers. Roxana Sellers, you get the bird. And I'm all organized because I have I have a trash bag for my post-it notes and a basket for my used cards. You even measured stuff. And I measured stuff today, guys. I <laughs> measured. I measured. Okay, next I've got the cutest little thing. Now this one, he was on my shelf for a little while. But I've decided to sell him, and it's this cute little skunk. He is the cutest little thing. He doesn't have any chips or flaws on him. Just a cute little pottery skunk. He's hollow, but he is pottery. He is $8 and he's number 59. Isn't he cute? Look at him. $8 number 59 for the skunk. All right, Cheryl Hoskins. Cheryl Hoskins. You got it. Okay. I'm gonna try to see the chat too as I'm going along. I like to talk to you guys too. Please don't mute me again. I won't mute Graham. I'll try not to. But I got I, I got a lot to sell today, so I'm I'm gonna try to get through this. I'm back. I'll wait till I make sure I that everybody. Am I good? Yep. Mm mm mm. This is why you don't touch the stuff, Misty. I didn't touch it. It just oh, went away. Okay. It just went away. Yes, sugar britches. Vintage Roots Collection. She painted me this of Brutus after he passed away. Glory, glory. And I had it hanging up in my bedroom, but I thought I'm here majority of the time. You can't really see. Mr. Fluffer Pants is up there too. But that's our little broody. And it's funny because we have Maybell and our other dog was, Be was Bella. So Maybell sometimes does things that reminds us of Brutus and we call her May Brutus. And sometimes she does things that remind us of Bella and we call her May Bella. 
So like the digging, that's May Brutus. The chewing on everything, that's May Bella. You know, she's a great combination of them both. All right. Yes. She, listen, Lorianne, if you wanted to do commissioned paintings, let me raise this up a little bit so you guys can see. See? Look at that. Now, now she didn't do fluffer pants. Graham's mom, Cindy, bought fluffer pants, the little prints for me for Christmas. All right. So let's get on with the sale. This is a vintage thermos. It is a Best Buy by Aladdin. I love the colors on this. It is like a brown with reds and a darker brown. Just a really nice tall thermos for your decor. It has the inner core in it. So I don't know if you could put something cold in here. I don't know how this worked. But, you know, I don't use it for that. It's, it's decor. It's a decor piece. But this thermos is $10 and it's number two. $10 number two for the pla it's plastic all right i have got lesta fitzpatrick lesta lesta fitzpatrick she's got a fun name to say my people are going to be able to hear me when i mispronounce her name so. yeah can you guys hear graham can i can hear, hear myself so I'm oh scared. <laughs> hi rebecca hi kim hi southern mermaid yes oh no <laughs> oh are we ready for an offer up? Oh, you know. <laughs> it's early in the game for an offer up. All right, so I have, last week I sold to Randy this, a hall duck console set. Hers was more of a chartreuse screen. This one, now I'll show you the other pieces that go with it. This is the, the mama duck and she's got a green head and this really pretty kind of airbrushed pink and green body. It is Hull, H-U-L-L. -L. It's American made pottery. So here is Big Mama. She is in, well, no. Yeah, she's in excellent condition. I don't see any issues with her at all. So there's Big Mama. Then we have her, the rest of the gang in here. So we've got, I'll show you the medium size. Medium size duck is right here it's just like mama only it's just a little bit smaller now this one does have a small little chip right there on the inside of the medium sized duck it's also marked hull on the bottom and the babies are the cutest thing i i don't know if these were little personal ashtrays and then someone said that these were ashtrays and then you would dump the ashes into one of the big ducks i don't know if that was the case but here are the babies and they're in excellent condition the little twins they're super cute okay we're gonna start these at ten dollars we're gonna do one minute graham is going to type in start and let's go start we are going to start these do you get the whole set they were they are not ashtrays i just they look like it to me because of the little divot in the tail this looks odd. they're they're di very different so yeah. i see 25 dollars. you get all four of them uh, Forty dollars with Jenny and Sailor. Okay. You died. Oh yeah. no! Am I back? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Ooh, it, ooh it. I see forty dollars, Jenny Sailor. The They're just a decor. Oh, it could be. Yeah, you know, I kept thinking I was gonna Google and see what these were, but you know, I never did. Thirty seconds left. We're at forty dollars for the set of four. It's actually 15 seconds left. <laughs> 15 seconds left. We're a little bit behind, so 10 seconds. Here, and there's only one little issue. Do you ship to the UK? I do ship to the UK, but you pay for it. <laughs> Three, two, one, stop. Stop. Graham is going to refresh. Make sure that Jenny didn't bid against herself. Okay. Because I um, saw her at 40, and then I just saw her at 45. We're going to make sure that you didn't bid against yourself, Jenny. Yep. I'll make sure. Graham's going to refresh. Chip and dip bowls. Maybe. Okay, she did not because someone said 44. Okay. okay. So I have got Jenny Sailor at 45. Jenny Sailor at $45. You're going to Jenny's house, family. Family of ducks. And they're really neat color. I like the coloring on them. 48, right? Number 48. Uh, they are number 48. Yes. All right. 
I would love for us all to meet up sometime. Absolutely. After that, Corona. Please. After Corona. After Corona. Well, you know, after there's a vaccine and we can all do it safe. But absolutely. The big ones for nuts and the little ones you'd put your shells in. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I need to Google it. Someone needs to Google it. We need to Google what these things were for. I can try. <laughs> Okay, I have a, I have a couple of these. I'm going to show a couple of them every week. They are paper label. They're old A&P juice cans. They're made, they're steel. They're steel cans. And again, it's a very much of a reminiscent time thinking about drinking your juice from a steel can. I remember I, that. I found it. So, um, they're whole planters. They're planters. Yeah. Console planter set. Yeah. So I, I pulled up a similar, and it says yeah. they're planters. So. It says they're planters. But you know you can, you can put cheese in them? You can put air plants in them? <laughs> do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want in those things. But this is from A&P. It is a paper label. There is some age spots, like where the glue has maybe came through. But they do look really good in a kitchen display. And you can use the top to display other things. This is $8, and it's number 27. Eight dollars, number twenty-seven. The old A and P juice, juice can. Juice, 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 juice. juice can. I think they're so cool. Hi, Thrifty. All right. Next. Next, we have. Oh my God! This is Graham's favorite thing. Oh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna tell you, oh, and. No. Something very tragic happened this morning when I was showing this to Graham, and you're about to see. It is this really nice sun rubber doll with the floppy arm. I, she's got, I don't know why she's got one cloth arm and one actual arm, but let me just tell you, it gets better. So I was showing this to Graham and teasing Graham a little bit because... It's so weird. It is weird. What did I see? I saw. Could you imagine back in the day when you opened the can of juice and you'd be buying the empty can for cash? I know. I know. Yeah. But it is, well, let me, I'll show you the, the good parts about this doll first. But it is sun rubber. Now, the rubber that they used to make these dolls wasn't the, the best quality. But you, you can see. But I was showing her to Graham and my finger went through her arm. So her arm is very brittle. Which could explain why she's been Frankensteined a little bit. But she's still I still think that she would be great in a display. She's got her little original diaper on. She's got a hand-stitched uh, dress. Her face is so pretty good. She's a drinker, but she's not a wetter. Um, but I still think that she's great. And let's put her little legs down. Her legs, the rubber on her legs is still in pretty yeah, good I condition. Agree. Give her a cast. Well... Franken well, baby. Yes. Franken baby. Look, she's got blue eyes and a little dirty nose. Yeah, I feel like she does have a backstory. She has to have a backstory. But she, look at her arm. She is $10 and she's number 36. I kind of like that she's got a gimpy arm and a broken arm. She's got a story. Look at her. If she doesn't sell, she's going to go home with Graham. I don't, oh God, no. <laughs> uh, I kind of liked her, but I like creepy dolls. I think I saw uh, yeah, answer my question. Ruth Lawrence. I think that's who I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ruth Lawrence, you're going to Ruth's house, baby. Ruth's going to take good care of you. I just know it. <laughs> I thought you said she's a drinker, but not a winner. <laughs> well, she, she's a drinker, but not a wetter. Or a winner. You are a winner, baby. Don't listen to thrift you. I mean they're being they're not being very nice. <laughs> All right. I have a treasure craft. I have a couple pieces of treasure craft. Treasure. Boop, 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 boop. Treasure craft. This one is from San Diego, California. Let's just take a moment and let's all pretend that we're in San Diego right now. <sighs> it's honestly one of the most beautiful places in the world. I love San Diego. I've been there three times. I've been there once. And I'd love to be there right now. But this is a piece of Treasure Craft. It's got the nice California bear there. San Diego, California. Um, Treasure Craft made in America. 
I like the lava look to this. This is $18 and it's number eight. You're in San Diego. Hmm. Listen, there is the taco shack or the taco stand. Oh my goodness, that's some good food. The talk, I think it was the, is either the taco shack or the taco stand, but it's amazing. I, we, we, we eat there every time, a couple times when we're in San Diego. And we only go when Mark has a conference. And I rent a car and I go thrifting while he's at his conference. Okay, do we have a buyer for number eight? Kendra Joe. Kendra Joe. Kendra Joe. Hi, Peterson. You're only one town away from San Diego. I like San Diego better than LA. I thought LA was a little stinky. I mean, I'm sorry if you live in LA, but like Hollywood Boulevard smelled like urine. I thought it. <laughs> so, I mean, it did. It kind of did. Okay, how do you get your things home? Um, Depending on who you fly with, I take an empty suitcase. <laughs> I take an empty suitcase. There are a lot of there. No, but this this restaurant was called the Taco Stand or the Taco Shack. That's the name of of the restaurant, the Taco Stand or the Taco Shack. I agree, Sandy. Nothing is more beautiful than Mackinac Island. I agree. Okay, I have another offer up. And we're while we're on the doll kick, this is the next offer up. Oh, no. I hate dolls. Look at her. Now, the nice thing about her, well, she's a big girl too. Look how tall she is. The cool thing about her, she's got a canvas face. She kind of looks like sugar britches. Sugar britches, that's her sister. Sugar britches. She's got blonde hair and blue eyes. It's like sugar britches. Okay, so she's got a canvas face. Okay, and she, the nice thing about her is you can strap her to your body and you can dance with her. She's a dancing doll. So the only issue is one of the straps on her hands oh, are missing. Oh, is her head a mop? Um, well, it's, it, it looks like one. She is a dancing doll, and she's got straps on her feet, so you can strap her feet to your feet and your hand to her, oh, but only one hand. This hand, and I don't know, maybe. I love it on these insults, genuinely. Maybe ne she never had a strap, but she has her, for, no, wait, let, wait a second. I say, for some reason, she's got her dress on. For some reason, she's got her dress on the backwards. Oh, I don't know what you have been doing, girl, oh. but your dress is on backwards. The other cool thing about her is that, you know, her head comes off. No. You know? And on the inside, no. she has straw in her head. See her brains? Oh, She's God. like the scarecrow from the Wizard of Oz. This is awful. But for some reason, her dress is on backwards. So I, I apologize for her. Being naughty. She put a hat on backwards as well. <laughs> put a dress on back. So she's gonna be an offer up. And we're gonna start her at ten dollars. Graham is oh, I, gonna I didn't know it was an offer. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, her head isn't on backwards because then her feet would be backwards. Yeah, it's just her dress. She does have some some staining and stuff on the cloth part of her body. She doesn't have her she doesn't have her sugar britches on though. But her body is straw as well. So, she, I mean, her legs are cloth. Anyway, let's go ahead and start, and I'll talk about it. Yeah. Are you ready? Yep. All right, start. We're starting her at $10. She might, I don't know where she's from. She doesn't have any, she has no tag on her. But isn't she, she might be Patty's big sister. So she's $10. You can dance with her and have hours of fun. She's so creepy. She's not creepy. You're not creepy. Don't she has listen to me. She has a lot of personality. Creepy to me. But she's a nice big doll. When I ship her, I probably, you know, I'll, I'll smoosh her in a box. So she'll fit in a box. She could be Polish. 
Oh, I see $10, 30 seconds left. You're gonna sell for a deal, girl. You tell me no one wants this beautiful being? Yeah, nobody wants her. Nobody wants you, baby. Let me put your head back on. She, I've had her for a while in the shop. I can't imagine why. Put your head back on, girl. See? Isn't she? I think that she's neat. She does. She has a nice side eye. Two, one, stop. Stop. Okay, I see $11. <laughs> $11. Okay, well, so Graham's going to refresh. $11. That's okay. You're going to go to a good home. I know it. Okay. I wasn't quite sure what to put on her. So that's why I did it as an offer up. I have got Karen's Vintage and More at $11. Karen's Vintage and More. Mm -hmm. So she's going to, you're going to Karen's house. She's you're going to have a lot of fun there. Karen, are you going to dance with her? She's not. You'll have to let us know, Karen, if you go dancing with her. What's that? 37. Her head is. Her head is a canvas. It's like a canvas and she's got straw in her head. She's going to Karen's house. You all missed out. <laughs> Call the priest. <laughs> <laughs> she's Patty Pate's sister. All right. Now, I mean, I don't know what's topping that. She have her head in a different box. I don't think Karen wants her head. I think Karen wants her shipped all together. I'm not gonna do that to her because she's a, she's a nice girl. She's a nice girl. Okay. Now we've got, do we have any Alabama people in the house? Is there any Alabama people? Well, I got a little air plant. Well, it's actually a toothpick holder, but we're not going to put toothpicks in it. We're going to put an air plant in it. And this one's from Alabama. This one, I just showed this in a haul video. And it's got this cute little frog just wondering. He's wondering what kind of air plant you're going to put in him. And I'll put my little helper plant in here. But see, isn't that cute? He's like, what the heck did you just stick in me, lady? I don't want to sit next to this air plant. This little air plant holder is made in Japan. Roll Tide. That's right. It is $6 and it's number 23. $6, number 23. Uh, I don't know what an air plant is. Um, an air plant is a magical, a magical plant that requires no soil. You just stick it in something and it feeds on the air. You do have to, I soak mine once a week in a bath of water, which is just a big bowl full of water and for about 20 minutes every week. So you can just, if you, you're like, oh, I like that. I don't know what to do with it. You can put an airplane in it and it's good to go. Okay, so, I've got Amy Gaston. Amy Gaston, roll tide. Okay. I, I was just imaging her head, an airplane in her head. The doll's head. Oh, well, yeah. You could put an airplane in. I'm mm -hmm. trying so hard not to laugh. Mm -hmm. You just stick an airplane in it. People put, like, they'll get, like, minerals, like geodes and stuff. <laughs> you need and to put an airplane. airplanes. I think you should. I get them on Amazon. You get, I want to say I pay, like, $12 for six of them. So, well, they can be a little finicky. They can be a little finicky. You have to make sure that you give them their weekly baths or they, they, they get mad. All right, next I have another little piece of treasure craft. Now here's a story with this treasure craft. This treasure craft is going to be a little uh, bit of a, of a, at a discount because, well, Maybell got a hold of it. Oh, no. And it doesn't like have bite marks, but you can see where she's like scratched some of the brown paint. It's not chipped or anything, but it just has this wear right here. Um, this, I actually was keeping this for myself. I actually bought this from Jeffrey and I was keeping it for myself uh, to put my rings in when I, you know, at the dishes and when you're washing the dishes and stuff. But it's a little apple air plant, or not air plant, <laughs> treasure craft, 1962. So this is $8 and it's number 56. $8 number 56. Maybe baby Jeffrey told Maybell to get this thing. Probably. Baby Jeffrey does not go. He's not allowed in my house. Uh, he has to stay here. I have got Bobby Marcantonio. Bobby Marcantonio. I love saying your name. In fact, Graham makes fun of me because when we're doing shipping and stuff, I pull up, I'm like, Bobby Marcantonio. I like seeing all your names. You say it like an announcer. <laughs> it's like a, say it like an announcer. Bobby Marcantonio, your treasure craft is on its way. 
You guys think that I'm only for talking to like figurines, but I talk to your, I talk to you through your packages as well. So and I if get you to hear all of it, yeah, I'm nice like, it. who are you talking to? I'm talking to Bobby Mark Antonio. All right, she's sitting right here. All right, here we go. Next we have. Oh, I love this little thing. I do believe. Well, I don't quite know. Well, yeah, I do. <laughs> I think I do know what this is. I think that this is a little lunch pail, like a little child's lunch pail. I'm going to say. But it is made out of aluminum, and it has this bail handle right here and a little bitty bail handle there. And then you, you pull this off, and then inside, <laughs> if I can get it out, well, inside there's an interior tray that's being a little fussy. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Do you, do you want me to get it? Maybe I'll have Graham work on this a few minutes. Yeah, I can. We're going to have Graham work on this a few <laughs> minutes and then we'll move on to the next thing. So hold that thought. Okay. I gotta, I'm Graham's stronger than me. I would not. I would not count on that. You got to jimmy it out. It is know. like Little House on the Prairie, which is a great show. Oh, I love that show. The Christmas one when Carrie buys the the star, and she at the end she said, it's baby Jesus at the end. That's my favorite one, the Christmas oh one. What happened with this? I don't know. It's aluminum. I can work on it for a while, but I don't think I'm going to get it. Well, look, we're just going to sell it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. With a little bit of work, you can get this interior thing out. But it has this little shallow cup, and then it has where you put your whatever, your lunch. But this is a very small lunch. I mean, I don't know what kind of lunch you eat, but my lunch is usually a little bit bigger than this. Yeah. But this, yeah, baby Jesus, that's my favorite one, too. I love it when she buys the star. She gives Nell her penny. She oh, Anyway, metal lunch box. Oh, and it has a name on the bottom. It is, well, I don't know. It says it's aluminum, P-U-R, and it has two, pa two bears on the bottom. It is $18, and it's number 20. $18, number 20. So cute in a display. And you can think of a little, little baby Carrie. All right, I've got Sue Golembeski. Sue Golembeski. That's another fun, fun one to say. Hi, Lucid. Sue Golembeski. You guys have fun names. I say that all the time. I don't have a very fun name to say. Okay. I mean, everyone says my name as one. Misty Pate. Misty Pate. Graham Curtis. Misty Pate. It's, just, it's always good. They go together. All right. Carrie was played by twins. Yes, she was. Oh, uh, that's, that's creepy. So I have a cute little owl. It's a toothpick holder. But we all know what it really I is. Love that one. Isn't it cute? It is not redware. It is made in Japan. But it doesn't have any flaws. This guy's a little big, but I mean you can get you can get the 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 look. You just put your little airplane in there. Or you can put toothpicks in it. You can put toothpicks in it if you would like. Hi, Miss Pamela. Miss Pamela, I just sold to Alabama. Toothpick holder. You live you don't live in Alabama, do you? You live Miss Pam, you're probably going to kill me if, you, if I say that you live in Alabama because that's probably like the, you don't want to say the, tell me, Miss Pam, where do you live? Okay. Where do you live? Because I know that, that you, you guys, if you're not from, if you don't, you don't, if, I, you, if you're not a Roll Tide person, you don't say Roll Tide. Okay. So this is $8 and it's number 60. $8, number 60. Roll Tide, baby. All right. I have KCATX. KCATX. Look at Santa. He's just back there. Looking at y'all. She says, Roll Tide. Okay. Well, then. I didn't, because I know that that's a sensitive subject sometimes. <laughs> you know, like Ole Miss and Alabama, they're, they kind of don't like each other, I don't think. All right, this is something that I don't quite know what it is. <laughs> I got it, and I just thought it was neat, and I tried to do a little bit of research on it, and then was like, I give up. But it is this. I think that it is brass. 
It's a duck little trinket dish. And on the back of it, it has this mark. So this could be worth hundreds of dollars. I don't, I don't, I haven't even tested it to see if a batter, or if a magnet sticks to it or not, but. I've got a magnet in my bag, you want me to check? Yeah. I just you have, have a, you just happen to have a magnet in it's, your bag. It's a fidget toy. Okay, well, we're going to, we're going to see. But this is $6 and it's number 49. Six dollars number and it's it's heavy. It's a heavy piece. It's magnetic. All right, let's see. Magnet does not stick to it. So it is brass. Thank you. Six dollars number forty nine. All right, all right. I have Auntie Christie. Auntie Christie. And don't forget, guys, if you want a stay weird bumper sticker or laptop sticker um there are four dollars and all you have to do is send me an email that you would like one and i'll attach it to your order all right next we have oh i love this i love this little thing this is a real this is a lust piece of luster wear but look at her in her winter coat she looks very annoyed because it's winter and she has to you know, buckle up or bundle up and buckle up. But it's a little trinket tray. It is Nortaki. Uh, where did the stickers come from? Um, they came from Sticker Mule. Oh, yeah. Sticker Mule. But you, you order them through me. I prepaid for all of them. And you just order them from me. So I thought it was really pretty. There is a little bit of wear in the luster here. You can kind of see where it looks sort of looks like polka dots. This is eight dollars and it's number twenty-five. Eight dollars, number twenty-five. Did Alex come in? Hi, Alex. For the Lady Luster tray. Okay, I have Yoso Boho Rescue. You know I'm gonna do it. Yoso Boho. That's a fun one to say too. It's a fun one. Hi, Alex. Okay, I love this guy. I um, Dad picked him up over the weekend and showed him to me. And he was like, I bought a brown piggy bank. And I thought, hmm, you know. But you know, with Dad, he does surprise, he surprises me. And, but, and then I looked at its face and look at it. And it is like this brown drip glaze on his head. Isn't he so cute? He is also Hull. He does not have his stopper. He is a piggy bank. But he's just so sweet. Oh, I got my finger stuck inside his hole. He doesn't have any damage other than he's missing his stopper. He is $22 and he is number 47. It does look like he has his little tongue out. $22, number 47. Okay, I have Diane Broderick. Diane Broderick. Get you back on your little box, pig. What are you laughing at? I just you harass so many things. Stay today. weird like the Portland slogan. Yeah, and I think that, isn't there a huge, no. There's a place in Texas that their thing is stay weird too. Um, where is it? They'll be able to tell me. Austin. Yeah. Let's just go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. This next book makes me, well, a lot of times any of these kind of either the saucy books or the kind of space, space age books remind me of Michael from the Cult of Vintage. Vintage. I don't know if he is watching now because he's at work, but this is Tom Swift and look at the graphics on this book. Isn't that cool? Very 1950s um, space age. This is the new Tom Swift Jr. Adventures. Tom Swift and his ultrasonic cycloplane. And look at the inside here. Isn't that neat? The copyright date in this book is 1957. Ooh, look at the chapter one. 
The Weird Figure. I, this is an excellent condition. It's a hardback book. I love the graphics on it. Um, a g -g 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 ghost. I seen the ghost. Yelled the terrified Texan. No, since we're talking about Austin. Anyway, this book is $12 and it's number 33. $12, number 33 for the really cool hardback Tom Swift book. All right, I have Janice Stevens. Janice Stevens. Janice, that, you, you're you doing my, my linen girl. She's buying the uh, Tom Swift book today. All right, here we go. Oh, how many? Okay, we have 422 people watching and only 168 thumbs ups. Well, you know, we, we got to put our little fingers together. We can do it. Push that little thumbs ups. We need to get to 200. And while we're at it, you're 49 followers away from 10,000 followers on Instagram. I'm 49 followers away from 10,000 on Instagram. I'll put a link Ooh. in the chat. Yeah, put it, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby Jeffrey, I'm a, baby Jeffrey is in timeout. I'm not walking over there and getting him. He's gotten on my gosh darn nerves this morning. So he is staying over there. Oh, we're at 207 thumbs up. Okay. Well, maybe the, with the next round, I'll get baby Jeff Jeff out. And so we'll see if we can get to, listen, if we can get to 300 thumbs ups, I will go get baby Jeff Jeff. Okay. Oh, wow. Baby Jeff Jeffs. Who the hell is Baby Jeffrey? Baby Jeff Jeff. Listen, you'll find out once I get to the 300 thumbs ups. Just he, like a dog Jeffrey. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I mean, kind of. Kind of. Look, adult Jeffrey doesn't really like Baby Jeffrey. But I think that it's fun just to tease him all the time with it. So we're at 217. We get to 300 thumbs ups, and I will go get Baby Jeff Jeff. All right. Who's ready for Thanksgiving? You know, Halloween's this weekend, but I've got a couple things here. I am gonna start showing some Thanksgiving things. I'm gonna intermingle it in with some Christmas things. I have these, look, you can wear them as bracelets. You can wear them as bracelets for your Thanksgiving dinner. And everyone will be so jealous of you. Okay. That's not really not what these are. Is that just popped in my head oh my <laughs> as they though. slid on to my wrists? But these are for a candle. And I would, I mean, they're, they're like little rings that go in, you put your candle in them. But they've got pumpkins and uh, pine cones and leaves. I mean, they're kind of a hula. Or you could wear them as a hat, even. You know, you can do all kinds of things with these, but you get the pair of them. You can put them on your Thanksgiving table. Um, and if you're like me, you're, we're all just, it's just going to be my immediately, immediate family driving each other crazy. It's just going to be, this is going to be, it's just going to be me, my husband, my two kids, and my dad. That it's just going to be us. We're not getting together with family this year. We're just going to, it's just going to be us. You could do a puppet show. Mm -hmm. You can make them come up. But these are $10. You do get both of them for number 34. Both of these guys, $10, number 34. I do ship to Europe, but I mean, it's it's not cheap. Honestly, I shipped something to Sweden and it was cheaper than Canada. Yeah, I remember that. That was crazy. Yeah, Canada I, shipping is just ridiculous. I have got Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl! Hi, Shirley. Okay, here we go. Jeffrey's getting a baby Misty. He's not. Jeffrey won't spend the money on it. I guarantee you he's not going to get a baby Misty. And, and if it does, know? it would be beautiful. <laughs> you know what? Jeffrey had his... Jeffrey, Karen... Jeffrey had his moment to get baby Misty. But that ship has sailed. And it's go she's going to Karen's house now. Sorry, Jeffrey, you had your chance. Jeffrey's probably not watching. Jeffrey doesn't ever watch my videos, I don't think. All right. Je now, listen, Jeffrey and I are very, very close. But, you know, that doesn't mean you, he, you, we watch each other's videos all the time. You know? Anyway. I have a set of three 
Pyrex mugs. Um, they are, that's a green, like a forest green stripe on there. They are made by Pyrex. Now you do get all three of them. They're exactly the same. There is, it's, it's just three and not four. You get all three of them for $12 and it's number 15. All three of them, Pyrex milk glass mugs, $12, number 15. Jeffrey said he got a baby Misty at an estate sale the other day. He's lying. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can't believe anything he says sometimes. He's lying. I don't believe it when I see it. All right. That goes to Blue Flamingo Mercantile. Blue Flamingo Mercantile. Yes, that is a great deal. Michelle, I have tried to sell those mugs three times <laughs> during a live sale. I'm, so that was a clearance price. Mm -hmm. That was the clearance. Did you sass me too, Deanna? <laughs> I'm in a fight with all you, Brett. Oh, that must be Sarah. That must be Sarah. Sarah, Sarah's joined us. Yeah, Barb hasn't seen it yet. Jeffrey's, he didn't have it. He's not going to spend the money on that. I can, I guarantee you he's not going to spend the money on baby Misty doll. I will spend the money on a baby Jeff Jeff doll because it's hilarious. Okay, next I have, oh, I love these. Now, I was very, very tempted to keep these. Very, very tempted because these will be beautiful in a Thanksgiving assemblage or a tiered tray. They're these beautiful Native American salt and pepper shakers. And I, it's, they, well, I thought those were his lips, but I think that that's his tongue that they've painted red. But the, the paint on these is still really, really nice. They are marked in Japan. They do have their stoppers. They're not redware, but I think that they're beautiful. I love them. They are $14 and they're number 55. $14, number 55. All right, that also goes to Blue Flamingo Mercantile. Blue Flamingo Mercantile. Thrift Juice sale is what, nine ish or so, Sarah? I, it's usually, sometimes I, I lay in bed and watch it. And I said this in my video today that my husband's like, who are you talking to? Like, I have my TV on and my phone on so I can watch the video and interact in the video. You're going to seek out a baby Misty. Well, Karen already bought it. It's the baby sugar britches slash baby Misty. Okay, next. I, oh, I love these. These are cute. These little pig shakers. Oh, look at how fun these are. They've got little flowers on their head. They've got flowers on their backs. Look at their little feet. They do not have their stoppers. They are marked Japan. They're in excellent condition. The, the petals on the flowers are all really good. Little porcelain pig shakers. They are $14 and they are number five. Hi, Erin. Hi, Katie. $14, number five. All right, that goes to Lori Wortley. Lori Wortley. A damn it doll would be fun. Yeah. Or a, a, what, a, what a voodoo doll that you stick the pins in. Oh my God. That's what Jeffrey will get. It'll be a voodoo doll. He'll stick pins in it. Guess we got I'll, I'll like have a, an ache in my leg or something. Jeffrey will be going there. <laughs> He'll be sticking pins in the, in the voodoo doll. <laughs> You see that comment? He know. told me the baby Misty has one messed up eye. I said, are you sure you want to use that one? He will find something that makes the loudest noise. <laughs> <laughs> that, that will be me. It will be, I'll have, it will be the loudest possible doll that you could ever find. Indeed. Well, we're just doing all the shakers right now. Next I have these, the, this is just cracked me up. It's the Lilgrim pair. These are from Publix, and I only knew about these through Alex, Chapter 2 Vintage Co. She has talked about these in her videos. They sell them at Publix. Now, in Indiana, at least as far as I am aware, we do not have a Publix in Indiana. But I don't, these are called the Lilgrims, which I think is odd because they are pilgrims, but maybe they're little pilgrims. Anyway, I think that Alex has said that they come out every year with different ones. These are from, well, I don't know. I don't know what year these are from. It doesn't say. 
the little collectible Thanksgiving salt and pepper shakers. But these are perfect for your Thanksgiving table. They're brand new in the box. They are the children. Oh, they're the little, little children pilgrims. Okay, second generation of those famous pilgrim parents have arrived. Now you can take home your very own handcrafted porcelain little, little pilgrims for your Thanksgiving table. These collectible siblings are available for a limited time only. They do not say where, where, when these were made, but they can be yours for $14, number 22. Brand new in the box. They come out with them every year. These are older ones. The little boy and the little girl. $14, number 22. All right, we have Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. I actually bought those thinking that I was going to use them, but it's just going to be the four of us, so... We're using our old, <laughs> just our old standby salt and pepper shakers. All right. I have a bluebird of happiness. So every sale, I'm also going to have a bluebird of happiness for the next several weeks because I have a couple of these. You don't think they do them anymore. Okay. Well, Shirley Pearl, you got you a pair. This is a bluebird of happiness. This still has the sticker on it. The bluebird of happiness. This one is Leo Ward 19. Gosh, Leo, sometimes you make it so hard to see. I think it says 1989. Bluebird of Happiness is $14. It's number 41. $14, number 41. There's no damage on this, no chips or cracks. Bluebird of Happiness, $14, number 41. All right, I have Shirley Pearl. Shirley, guys, Shirley Pearl's on it. Oh, we're at 245 thumbs ups. If you want to see baby Jeff, Jeff, you got to tell your friends. Tell your friends they need to give me a thumbs up so he can come. Watching. Thanks, Sugar Bridges. Okay. Oh, I love this. I think you guys will like it too. I took a picture of this and put it on Instagram, but it's this vintage decorator styled souvenir tray and coasters of California. Ugh. Light is such a glare. Are these a California state flower? If so, what flower is it? Oh, it's the golden poppy. Well, that says it right there. And then the coasters basically have the same design, but they and you're, there's six coasters. So you get one tray and six coasters. They've never been opened. And you get this set for $15 and it's number three. $15 number three for the souvenir tray or wall plaque. And six coasters or wall plaques. You can hang them all on your wall. For the California tray. We have Kelly uh, Corum. Kelly Corum. What um I don't know. <laughs> I took the sticker off. Just kidding, because they said 41, and that was the blue bird. Oh. So Kelly said 41. Can that just be behind? Is it, it should be on the list. Or if it, what's it called? California. It just said CA tray or CA plate, maybe. Oh. What number was it? It should have been three. This is number three. Oh, number three. $15 sold. Is that you, Christine? Yeah. Okay, Christine, gotcha. Gotcha, Christine. Let me stir up my numbers. All right. Woo, this is cool. This is a 1934 Better Homes and Gardens magazine from November. Originally, it was 10 cents. Look the, at the Bisquick ad on the back. Now, this magazine is really, I would say, it has never, it appears that it has never even been looked at. There's no crease on the binding at all. So, it has nice, crisp pages. The binding is really good. Uh, look, for his little sons, I like the, uh, the ads that are in here. Stop that cold in its track. Sometimes the little ads here, like the little small ads, are 
are the ones that are a little bit more fun to read. Mama J says she has that magazine. You do? And somebody's asking what year is it? It's 1934. November 1934. And someone has asked me, this is just popping in my mind. Please send me another email. Someone has asked me if I would look up, if I had a particular year of magazines and I have forgotten yet again. So if you, if you're watching, I'm sorry, but send me another email. I, 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 I need to write that down. I'll write it down if someone says it. But look at the wallpaper samples. But anyway, this magazine is $10 and it's number 29. $10, number 29, for the Better Homes and Gardens, 1934, November issue magazine. Okay, I have that. Kathy Morrison. Kathy Morrison. I have another magazine. I was looking through some of the magazines yesterday. Oh, I found a really good one with a bunch of um, Zigfield Folly Girls in it. Oh. Uh, I love me a good Zigfield Folly Girl. I don't know what you did, but you put the wrong number. Oh, well, that doesn't surprise me. I guess I'll switch and stuff. Sorry. Okay. All right, next I got a little pixie dish. Now, this is bisque, so I don't like to touch it. There's nothing wrong with bisque. I say this a lot. There's nothing wrong as bisque, or there's nothing wrong with bisque. I just don't like the way that it feels. It feels like sandpaper. But it's a little pixie, just slouching next to his little mushrooms, a little trinket dish. It is home co. Made in Taiwan. Uh, there are so many people. Can you go over how to get an item? Yes. That's okay. I will explain. I Everything that I'm showing has a number on it. The first person to type in that number in the chat will be the winner of that item. And all you have to do is send me an email with your actual name, your YouTube name, your full shipping address, and your, P, your PayPal. Your PayPal. Your PayPal. Your PayPal. Um, and, um, I will get these items to you. I also have these stickers that are available. They're nice, durable. You can put them on your cup. They can go in the dishwasher. Um, they're waterproof put them on your laptop. They are $4 each. And so if you're wanting one of these, make sure that you do tell me in your email to me that you would like a sticker. But this little home co pixie is $10 and it's number 50. $10, number 50 for the bisque. Right. Crixie, as I like to call them. I have got Gigi's Vintage Treasures. Gigi's Vintage Treasures. But welcome, new people. We have a lot of fun here I'm on Wednesday. I'm change one of your numbers, by the way. Okay. Because you need to switch away with a couple. I, a couple of them? More well, than one? I mean, just, you know, two. Oh, okay. two. Next, I have these placemats. I showed these, I think it was yesterday in my video, but they are there are six of these placemats. Again, really nice for Thanksgiving. Um, they're just very natural. You can put your um, put these down and put a, a charger and then your uh, your place setting your dish over it. Just a nice neutral color. There are six of them. They're in great condition. You get all six of them for fifteen dollars, and they're number forty. You could also use them as like almost like a doily, like on a side table too. But you get all six of them for $15 and they're number 40 for the wicker placemats. Okay, I have green at gardening. Green at gardening. I wish I was. I could I can do air plants. That's about it. I can do air plants and I can do um uh, hens and hens and chicks or their yeah. succulents. Misty, why do you call pixies prixies? I always have. My dad has always called pixies prixies my whole life. So growing up, that's what I thought that they were called. So that's what they're called. In my world, they're all prixies. So I know sometimes I get that question a lot and I, it, I don't even think about when I say it anymore. It's just what I call them. They're prixies. I don't know. And it's funny because I've gone into a store and be like, oh, look at the prixies. And people are like, the what now? What? It's just, it's just what I've always called he them. He mispronounces a lot of stuff. He does mispronounce a lot of stuff. But I think that he's just being ornery and he's just always called them that. 
Um, yes, I did, Daphne. I saw Michael. And actually, Michael was there yesterday. And he messaged me and he teased me with the whole wall full of salt and pepper shakers again. I'm going there. I've got plans. I'm going there. It's going to be in the spring, but I'm going to go there eventually. All right. Next, I have this. Oh, Michelle, you need this for tomorrow, but won't get to you in time. But this really fun mod, like not mod, like, you know, remember the show mod? Not like mod mod, but like mod, M-O-D, flower, very hippie 60s. It is metal. Very fun floral brooch. It is $8 and it's number 44. Thrift you is leaving. Oh, bye, Thrift you. Probably Sarah, I'm going to say, because I it sounded like Sarah talking earlier. Yes. Sarah. Okay. I have bought Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Oh, Shirley, I just stabbed myself with a pin. It's got some of my DNA on it now. Never commit a crime. <laughs> All right, next I have, oh, another piece of treasure craft. Now, this is a non-traditional piece of treasure craft. It's more of a, a more modern piece of treasure craft from the 90s. And again, you can put it on your finger and make finger, have a finger puppet show with it. But it is a the coyote. I just thought it was really pretty. I like the teal polka dots on his little kerchief. He's just a lonely fella, but I thought that he was still cute enough to be in someone's display. It is Treasure Craft there on the bottom, USA. He's in great condition. He's just lonely by himself. He is $8 and he's number nine. $8, number nine. Well, we're at 281 thumbs ups. You hear that baby Jeff, Jeff? You can't come out until we get 300 thumbs ups. I have got KCATX. KCATX. And you know what, Carrie? He feels good to touch. <laughs> Just gonna say that. He feels like he's a very matte feeling pottery, and I like that feel. That's a good feel. That's a good feel. The chat is way ahead of you. Try to refresh or go all the way out and then come all the way back in. Oh, I forgot, Carrie. Yeah, you have the cookie jar. And make sure in the live chat. Yeah, make sure that you're in live chat and not top chat. Oh, I can like. Can I go and like my own video? Uh, yes, you can, but I don't think you should do that right now. Yeah, I can't do that right now. We're at 293. 294. Six more likes. Oh, baby, Jeff, Jeff, you might get to come out. Are you selling Santa? Yes, we are going yep. to sell the Santa today. The next thing I'm going to sell, now this is precious. And I have it on this hanger because that's how I had it displayed. It's not on here very well. But it is this antique baby clothes. And you will get the hanger with it if you want it. You'll have to let me know. But I will include it because it does make it nice to hang up. But it's a little boy's antique clo clothing item. Oh, let me get a hold of it. Look at this precious look. And so it's got little silk pants. Look at the little buttons. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And his little um, uh, sleeve. Look at the little button there. Oh, we hit 300 likes. Oh! Yeah, go ahead and grab him. Uh, let me sell this first and then I'll show baby Jeff Jeff. But Graham's going to go grab him. But look at how precious this is. All, all of the detail on the buttons. It might be a christening suit. It, it could very well be. The back of it has these buttons, too. So, I don't know if that was, like, easier to change the baby. This looks more like a toddler size. Uh, Michelle outfit. has a point. You should dress baby Jeff Jeff up with that. And baby Jeff Jeff won't fit. Baby mm -hmm. Jeff Jeff doesn't deserve such finery. But I just think that this is really pretty. And some people will hang these up um, on their wall. This beautiful antique piece of baby clothing is $15 and it's number 52. $15 number 52. And you'll have to let me know if you would like the hanger with it as well. It does not have any holes in it anywhere. It's really precious. Okay, I have got Terry uh, Candelaria. Ooh, Candelaria. wait, I gotta see that name Candelaria. again. Uh, Where are you at? 
Right after Chocolate Cheese Memphis Curl. Tammy Candelora. Ooh, that's a fun name. Terry. Or Terry. <laughs> You'll have to let me know if you want the hanger. And it's just a wooden snap hanger. Those are good to hang up linens and stuff to hang on your wall. Oh, I guess you guys wanted to see Baby Jeff Jeff. You ready, baby? Here he is. Look at him. Are you being a good boy? Oh, no, he's going to throw a tantrum. See, he throws tantrums all the time. Look at how red he gets. He sets things on fire. Yeah, you're not very funny right now, baby Jeff Jeff. But look, he's in his little jam jams. Baby Jeff Jeff. Oops, where's my chat? Look at him. <laughs> this, this poor new person just joined. Oh, I'm sorry. This is baby Jeff Jeff. He's going to throw another tantrum. You go over there. His head's going to pop off his body. Okay, you sit over there. Baby Jeff Jeff is being a bad boy today. Okay. He's going to sit over there. He's being a bad boy. He's being very annoying today. All right. All right. Offer up time. You ready? Now, I have these cute little nuggets here. I wasn't quite sure what to price them, so I thought I'd do them. You know, back in the cage, baby Jeff Jeff. I thought I'd do a, a, um, an offer up. So there are these cute little chalkware kitties. And they've got a little bit of wear on their faces. They are chalk. I thought you were talking about, well, I, well, kind of, sort of. I mean, that's his namesake. Is, you know, that Jeffrey. This little baby Jeff Jeff. Now listen. I know that that's not his actual name. I know that he's a character from The Incredibles. And I know that his actual name is Baby Jack Jack. But it's in my world, it's Baby Jeff Jeff. So I know that that's Baby Jack Jack. I know that, that that's who it is. But in, not in my world, it's Baby Jeff Jeff. <laughs> All right. So you get the two. You get both of them. So we're going to go ahead and start them at $10. And Graham, whenever you're ready, and I'll mm -hmm. talk about them. Okay, go ahead and start. We're starting the bid at... Ten dollars. You do get both of them. They are not marked. They are chalkware. This one's just laying down, being playful. Very cute faces on these guys. Little chalkware kitty cats. We're starting them at ten dollars for the pair. Ten dollars for the pair of chalkware white. Let's say Persian cats. I see $11. Yeah, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Boop, boop, boop. Kitty, kitty. Seriously, nobody wants those? I well, yeah, they have, we have a bit of $11. I wasn't, just well, wasn't I, sure. I'm surprised. 15 seconds. He's baby Jeff Jeff in our world, too. Yeah. <laughs> He's something else. 10 seconds. 10 seconds left on the pair of chalkware cats. Five seconds. Five seconds. Oh my God, I can't spell. There we go. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Stop! Graham's going to refresh and see. I think the $11 bid yeah, will be I'm, the... I'm going to take a solid guess. The winner <laughs> of the key cats. All right. I have got Cindy Lou Who at $11. Cindy Lou Who at $11. What was that called? Or... Uh, chalk cats. It was number four. All right. Next, I have this. I Dad picked this up, and I thought it was interesting. It is a horse in a shell-shaped bowl. Isn't that different? I like the horse on it, and I know people like horse things. It says it's Smith Western, not Smith and Wesson. When I first saw it, that's what I thought, but it's Smith Wesson, made in Japan. So this little horse trinket dish is $8, and it's number 31. $8, number 31. Thank you, Rebecca, for the horse trinket dish. Okay, I have Terry Candeloro. Ter Terry Candeloro. There's that name again. I like 
like to say. Oh, I've got something stuck to my shoe. All right, next we have. Oh, well, I sold the California one. Now we're going to go to Kentucky. Who's my Kentucky people? I don't know if fat birds are watching or not, or George or Zeno. They're all Kentucky people. This is a just a metal tray. You can hang it on your wall. You can put it. I actually have some Indiana ones that I just put like in the background of a display. <coughs> the goldenrod is Kentucky state flower. I will have several more of these in every um, sale. I did just, well, dad just picked up a whole stack of them. And this is $12. And it's number 19. $12, number 19. It's in really good shape. There's no, no rust on it, no fading on it anywhere. It's like new. $12, number 19. For the Kentucky metal plate. Metal tray. Ooh, that's a good idea. You can get an adhesive plate hanger and hang it on your wall. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I like, like I said, I like to put them in the background on a shelf. Just adds a little bit of color to your shelf. I don't think we have anybody for that. All right. Next, I have a copper kettle that I stuck some flowers in it just to give you an idea of what you can do with it. It does. So here, let me just show you this look. It's a nice fall copper kettle it does have the lid now the lid is bent or is dented i guess that's more of the word but it is copper it's a copper kettle this is wood it's got a wooden handle and a wooden finial on top really cute piece to put florals in and this is 16 dollars, and it's number 38 and this is pretty lightweight too Sixteen dollars, number thirty-eight. So, did someone want the Kentucky tray? I'm seeing. Okay. Copper kettle, sixteen dollars, number thirty-eight. All right. Next. It would be a good, good watering can. Yeah, it's a solid piece. It doesn't leak or anything. It just has that top where it was dented in. All right, next I have this little piece that's very much M.A. Hadley. Well, it kind of is because it's made by Louisville Stoneware who bought out M.A. Hadley. But it's this little trinket dish that says thank you. It's hand-painted, the glaze over the paint. It's Louisville Stoneware. Made in Kentucky. The Kentucky plate goes to Rebecca. Rebecca. Gotcha, Rebecca. So this would be a nice gift to give to someone just as a thank you gift, like a bus driver or a teacher, you know, or your hairdresser. Just a nice little, little trinket dish. They can put their rings and stuff in it. It is $8 and it's number 24. $8, number 24. I bought the cutest little M.A. Hadley bowl the other day. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's going to be in an upcoming haul. But. It, says, it looks like a tip platform for a diner. Yeah, it could very well be. It could very well be, but I think it would be. It would make a cute gift to give, you know, to, 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 to someone to thank them. Yeah. You know, nice little, nice little gift. I have got Andrea Kane. Andrea Kane. Okay, I'm running out of room on my table. All right, here. Oh, who's wanting a Santa? Who's wanting a Santa? Raise your hand if you would like a Santa. Well, I have a Russian Santa that I'm doing as an offer up. He is in pristine condition. Pristine. He, he has the white boots that are very clean. He has the white mittens. He does have a little, this is wool. He has a little, little spot right there, a little slit in the wool. His suit is just in immaculate condition. His face, look at him and his little beard. He has his original little belt. It's almost like a little skirt belt. He is the Rushton Company from Atlanta, Georgia. 
There's his tag. So cute. Now, here's the thing, and I want to go ahead and say this. And he does he smells slightly a little bit like mothballs. <laughs> I mean, I if you're I can smell mothballs. The lady that I got them from, I think she just she didn't want moths to get a hold of them and she stored them. I don't know why people do that. Yeah. But it he does not smell yeah. like yeah. as as much as he did. What year, do you think? Oh gosh. Um he's that I would think that he was from the 50s would be my guess. Um, but he's in really, the only condition issue that he has is that one little spot on his mitten. I will, I have at least two more that I will be showing the next couple weeks. So this guy is the first offer up. So we're going, we're going to start him. Now I, I want to start him. Normally I start things at 20, at $10, but I paid, I paid $25 for him. So that's what I'm starting the bidding at. I'm, bid, I'm starting the bid at $25, and we are good to go and start. We're starting the bidding at $25 for the really adorable, precious, really nice paint on his face, Rushton Santa. The highest I'm seeing is $50. Okay, I'm seeing $50. Barb went messing around. Gotta go above 50. <laughs> oh, Michael's here. Michael, you gotta go above 50. Got 55. 55. He's just so, just, I like the way that he feels. He feels so fuzzy wuzzy. We have got 30 seconds. 30 seconds. We've seen $60. $60 so far. Okay, I'm seeing 65. Got 20 seconds. 20 seconds left. For San the Rushton Santa. $70. $70. He's super cute. We've got five seconds. Left. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Stop. 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 I'm going to have to look for a hot second. Um, Grandma's going to refresh and look and see. But yeah, he is super cute. I do have another one that's very similar to him, but he has a white belt. This one has the black belt. I have one very similar that to him that has a white belt. And then another one that's just a little bit different. Yeah, he is super cute. Oh, the one of the ones that I have is the Coca-Cola Russian Santa. He is missing his bottle. He has the little flesh hands. He's miss missing his bottle. Okay, I have got Winking Owl Antiques at $76. Wait, Barb, $76 for Santa. Ooh, you're going to go to Barb's house, Santa. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm going to set him back down. I'm going to lay him next to, uh, yay. next to, yay, congratulations. Okay. We still got lots of good stuff. Yeah. Congratulations, Barb. The, the people were after the stops. I I promise. Yeah. I like triple checked that. This Graham time. refreshed. He made sure that it was the the last, the highest offer above the stop. The first highest, highest offer, offer above, above the stop. The stop. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a really nice offer. Uh, Winking Owl Antique says, Michael, you can have them if you want. Well, I'll let you two work that out, yeah. and then you can let me know. Yeah, just let me know. Yeah, that's sweet. <laughs> Everyone in this community is just the most generous, nice people. I'm serious. We're, we're in such good company in this community. Yeah, if Michael wants it, let, let me know. Yeah, so Michael, do you hear that? Michael, you have to let, let us know if you want it. Barb is letting you have it if you want it. And don't forget, nice. we got two more. Yeah, and there's going to be, I got more, more to come every week, more to come. But now I have a bird. This is a little Japan, made in Japan bird. I don't know what kind of bird it is, but it's in really, it's an excellent, well, there is, it is actually in excellent condition, except there is one little teeny tiny, can you see that? Chip right there on the end of the back of his tail. But this is... 
Oh, did you get the number for the Russian Santa? Yes. Okay. I didn't put that tag away. This little Made in Japan bird figurine is $8. Number 35. He does. He might have left already. I was bidding for him too. Okay. Well, Michelle, you can get a hold of him and ask him. And then we'll we'll work this all out. So I see Kathy Morrison for number thirty five. Mm -hmm. Kathy Morrison got number thirty five. Right. Huh? Do you have a plug in over here somewhere? There's one right there. You yeah, and you can. Um. Well, there's a power strip over there. See if you can pull that power strip. Okay. You can move. You can move the. Um, I, I'll get it. The light closer so that power strip. We're, we're trying to plug in Graham's computer. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I have another offer up. Should I do something else? Okay. Let me. If you wouldn't mind. Okay. Let me do something else. What is the host's first name? Me. I'm Misty. Is that what you're asking? <laughs> I'm Misty. Yeah, Misty oh, there's another offer up. I'm giving Graham a moment to plug in his yeah, laptop. Okay, I have this really nice brass chocolate box made by Shraps out of Boston, Massachusetts. And it is a chocolate box. Oh my gosh. I'm having an issue with all boxes today, apparently. It's a hinged chocolate box <laughs> that I can't get open. I just opened it yesterday. It does come open. But you can see here it is hinged. It's a hinged chocolate box. It is $16 and it's number 28 for the Schraff's hinged chocolate box. What is that on there? It's like a Victorian lady. So $28 or $16, number 28. I have thought Kendra Joe. Kendra Joe, that is going to you, girl. Okay, I'll well, see if I, I threw it back in. We'll see oh, if we... Okay. Ooh, I like this. I know that Halloween is on Saturday and you won't get this before Halloween, but I love this. Look at this Halloween spider brooch. It's black and orange. Isn't this fun? I just got this. Actually, I got it. It was going to be in a haul video, but I thought, oh, I better show that. So this spider brooch is... $14. Oh, it has a lobster claw back on it. And it's number 43. $14, number 43. You know, and a lot of people will put these in their hair. And I think that's a really good idea. So $14, number 43 for the spider roach. Okay, I have got Lori Wortley. Lori Wortley! I just thought that, that was really cool. I know people don't like spiders, but are you, wait, Misty, are you doing Christmas sale sometime? Yes, I am going to do my Christmas sale. I, I looked at the calendar and I believe it's going to be on November 18th, but I will be putting Christmas. I got a lot of Christmas stuff. Let me just say, I have a lot of Christmas stuff. So I will be putting Christmas things in sale sales from here on out, but I will have like a, dedicated Christmas sale on November 18th. All right, I love this, but I like advertisements, I like signs, I like things as such. And I like to put this these kinds of things in my house, in my decor. And this one is a, it is a metal sign or a steel sign. And it says, caution, eye protection and hard hats must be worn in this area by all persons. I thought that this would be cute to put in a playroom or, you know, and it's just, I would probably put this in my family room, honestly, but it's just a fun metal steel sign that I just think adds a little bit of fun and whimsy to your decor. It does have holes here on all four corners that you could hang it from if you wanted to, or you can put it on a shelf. This caution sign is $16. And it's number 14. Yeah, I agree, Katie. It's great to hang on the wall. I just think that they're fun. So you have to wear hard hats because it's 
it's a it's a hazardous place in the playroom but sixteen dollars number fourteen I think it's fun Amy Gaston Amy Gaston Gaston like on Beauty and the Beast all right next I love these oh my gosh I love these these are, oh, I didn't cut the string off of this, but there's a, there's a string on them. It's not a crack. It's just a string that I didn't cut off. These are little totem pole salt and pepper shakers. Aren't they cute? Oh my gosh, I love the colors on these. On the back of them, they're dated 1953, uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. And they're flat on that side. I don't know why I just put them together like that, but I did. But they are just, they're from... The souvenir piece from Vancouver, British Columbia. They're dated 1953. Cute little totem pole salt and pepper shakers. They have their stoppers. They are $14 and they're number 54. $14, number 54 for the totem pole salt and pepper shakers. I like them. I have Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. And the Santa is going to go to Michael. Oh, Michael's going to get... Oh, Barb, that was so nice of you. That was so, they kind of look like they got a brawl on, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> That's just where my mind just went. Just now, after telling Barb how of a wonderful she person, uh, she per, of a person she is, I'm like, they look like they got a brawl on. That's me, Gloria. <laughs> it was very nice. Very nice of you to do that, Barb. Okay, offer up time for the, y'all know, the fairy lamp. I do have my fairy lights inside the fairy lamp, although with these big bright lights on here, it's very, it's very hard to see the, the effect, but the effect is there. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn it off because I want to save my battery. But this is an amber glass fairy lamp. So we're going to start it at $10 when Graham gives me the thumbs up. Okay, let's start. We're starting this fairy lamp. It's Ellie Smith Stars and Bars. We're starting it at $10. It's in excellent condition. The only thing is it's got some candle wax in there that I am going to take home and wash out. But um, I see $20 off the bat for the Stars and Bars fairy lamp. I'm seeing $23. From Janice. It's in excellent condition. Woo! Really, really nice with the fairy lights in it or a battery operated candle. I see Janice Stevens at 25. Yeah. So $25 is the number to offer up from. Yeah, I see 27. $27. Amber glass. We've got 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. This is my last amber one that I have right now. So this is Three, the, no, two, yes. One, stop. Stop. Oh, Grandma's going to refresh. Eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight. And then we'll let you know who is the winner of the amber stars and bars. The last one that I have right now, I've got some cool ones coming up though, I have to say. I have bought CLC at $30. CLC at $30. I have some cool ones coming up. Mm hmm. But I wanted to get all the amber ones um, because of the, the time of year. I've got some uranium glass ones. I've got clear ones. I've got a blue one. I've got some good ones coming up. Those are going to be in future sales. So don't email me about those because I'm going to sell them in the live sale. Because I got it. That's kind of my thing. You know, I have to keep the fairy lamps in every sale. So I have to save them special. I have a number in here with no sticker. So he says, any more Western slash horse decor today? They've got those paintings. That yes. Awesome. Yes. I do have a few more Western things. I always, I'm always looking for Western themed items. So that's something that I do readily go out and seek for when I'm sourcing. All right. Who's from Colorado? <laughs> Here in Indiana, we say it Colorado. Colorado you, is what you may say. 
Oh, I'm doing my Martha Stewart. I gotta say that Jeffrey does the best Martha Stewart. I'm not going to even go there. Jeffrey does a really good Martha Stewart impersonation. But Colorado, Pikes Peak, colorful Colorado, the gateway of the Garden of the Gods. So this is has Pikes Peak, the Central City Opera House, Will Rogers Shrine, the State Capitol, and my personal favorite. The chipmunk right there so this is a nice colorful plate oh the number on the fairy lamp um, was number 17 connie yeah. i should have told you that too all right I got it. so the nice colorado plate is eight dollars and it's number six. Oh, thank you Faye, for watching that video with dad yeah he was so surprised he was so surprised. Okay, I have Sarah Rock Mountain Style RM. Ooh, that's a long name. Sarah Rocky Mountain Sky RN. Well, you live in Colorado, I bet. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. That's good old John Denver. He was a good singer. Okay. Next. Oh. I have a TV lamp, guys. Am I looking forward to shipping this? No, but I can't keep it. It's gotta go. And it is attached to the, oh, I got this, turn it on. It does work, as you can see from that really bright light that probably blinded you. It is a, I know I just stuck this bittersweet in there just to give you an idea, but we'll take that out. It is a TV lamp planter. So this is Leeds. So I thought it was nice for fall. Just the coloring mainly, I guess. But it is a nice TV lamp. I don't know who has made this. I don't think it's a cron. It doesn't have any maker's mark on it. But it is a planter you can see right here and right there. It's in excellent condition. It doesn't have any chips. We're going to do this as an offer up. So, are you ready? Oh, get in there, get in there, get in there. Oh, there's a calculator. Okay, we're starting this at $15 for the vintage. I'm going to turn the light bulb off because I am getting blind. For the vintage TV lamp and start. It is starting, we're starting the offers at $15. This kind of looks like almost like a coconut down here with the leaf, the tropical leaf. Leaf. Leaves from it. So I see $20, $25. It is in excellent condition. No chips or cracks. The light bulb works. The cord is still good on it. Uh, it's an unusual one. I've not seen this one. It's just a different style of a TV lamp. I see $30, 30 seconds left. Oh, you know who I would like for, to win this? Mm. She's local. <laughs> Come on, you go, girl. You go, girl. <laughs> I see. 10 seconds. I see 35. <laughs> I mean, I want you all to win it. Three, two, one. Stop. Graham is going to refresh and we'll let you know who wins the cool TV lamp. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Give me anxiety. Well, set that down before you break something. That was kind of heavy. Uh, how old do you think it is? Uh, probably from the 50s, okay. maybe 60s. It is a very, like, tiki-esque. It would go with that kind of vibe. Okay. I have got found again at $37. Found again at $37. That's yeah. Kelly, it's coming to you. What the heck was that called? <laughs> Tammy, that, whoa, that was number 12. Okay. Yeah, Tammy almost got it. Tammy is a local. So I was like, oh, I saw her bidding on it. I was like, oh, I don't want to ship it. But I will ship it to you, Kelly. Very, very well. These are the stickers. Someone asked if I would show them again. Um, I have my stickers that are available to purchase. You purchase them from me. So if you want one, then just in your email to me or in a email to me. They're $4 and let me know if you want one or two or 10 or however many of them that you would like. But they are nice and durable. I have one on my laptop. I have one on my Yeti. I put it through the dishwasher. 
So they're nice, durable stickers. Put one on baby Jack Jack. Oh, we should. Look. <laughs> oh, God. I was kidding. Look. Baby Jeff Jeff. Baby Jeff Jeff should wear one. Oh, goodness. Yeah, we, we should do that. Oh, look. Baby Jeff Jeff. We should put that on you, baby Jeff Jeff. Okay. A shirt like this for sale. You do have different shirts, but not one like this. I don't. I am working on... Um, getting that exact same graphic sent into Teespring. I have to do a little bit of work on it. Um, but yes, that I have a couple other t-shirt designs that I'm, I'm in the process of working on, but I just haven't done it yet. I have to sit down and do it. Michelle, I know Michelle, I saw she found a little, a little, a little BB BB Jif Jif. Okay. Are you ready for another offer up? I just pulled it. I'm kind of nervous about these, I'm not gonna lie. Now, I had an overwhelming, an overwhelming response to sell these brothers as a set. They belong together. They're, you guys aren't gonna be separated. You're gonna be together forever, okay? Okay, you're not gonna be upset. So, we're going to do these as an offer up. And we are going to start them at we're going to start them at $10. Oh. Now, okay, I will say before we get started, they do have what we, I, I, it appears to be a Capodimonte esque sticker. I don't think that these, I think that these are a Japanese knockoff of a Noritake. But, that, but having said that, they are still very rare. They are in excellent condition. There aren't any chips, cracks, flaws on them anywhere. So I will say that. I think if they were legit, actual North Capodimonte Italian, they would they would be painted just flawlessly. So that's just what my gut is telling me. I haven't consulted anybody. So who knows? Maybe they are legit in the Capodimonte, and you might get a really good deal. But I don't think they are. We're going to go ahead and start them at $10 and start. They are beautiful. Look at their faces. We're starting them. You get the set of them, the pair of them. We have got $20. Okay. Today. We're at $20 off the bat. 25 25 They are amazing. This one's laying down. 30 This one's standing up. Come on, guys. We're going to get the... You're, you, these are rare. They are a rare set. 35 They're at $35. There, I see about 30 seconds left. Yeah. 30 seconds left. I'm still seeing $35. They're worth more than that. I see 38. $38. I see $40. 20 seconds left. 20 seconds left. 15 seconds left. I'm seeing $40. $40 is the number to I'm offer up. I'm seeing 42. $42. 42. Five seconds left. Five seconds left. You're not going to see these again. Two, one, stop. Stop. Grandma's going to refresh. And we'll let you know who is the winner. They're pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Okay, I'm going to see who said it first. <laughs> huh? So many people said the same number, so I have to see who okay. said it Okay, he's going to, Grandma's going to just make sure that. Okay. And it's going to be the highest offer, a first highest offer above Stop. Okay, I have got Randy Heilman at $45. Randy Heilman, you got him at $45. They're going to you, girlfriend. Yay! You're going to a good home, fellas. Randy's going to take good care of you. All right, I have... Oh, here it is. I think I... Okay, so this one, do you... Yeah, that was a number okay. change. Um, let me see. Let me go to... I have, we have a number. We have a price change on aisle aisle four. Okay. And it's actually this, and not that. I don't know what it did, but it's fine. It's number thirty. I okay. Change the numbers. So next, I have a Woman's Day, Woman's Day from October nineteen sixty five. And look at the decor. <laughs> you know, all of this is coming back. It's coming back. 
again, all of these magazines are in very, very good condition. They're in very good condition. And look at the, this is a, an advertisement for Breck on the back. Why risk detergent hair when you can have beautiful hair by Breck? Um, and then we've got Helene Curtis, Quick Care. So it's just a Woman's Day magazine. So it's all things that are related to women. Like most hash starts with leftovers, not Mary Kitchen. We've got recipes. We've got Del Monte. Oh, Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. Recipes. Super sandwiches made with simple soup. Ooh, look. There's a bean salad with olives in it. Yeah. Dictionary of French Furniture. Oh, these are the budget meats that men will eat. Now, only men can eat these budget meats. <laughs> if you are a woman, you are not allowed to eat these budget meats. And I wouldn't want to eat it anyway. So anyway, this Woman's Day magazine from October 1965 is $8, and it's number 30. You knew the Breck girl? Really? $8, number 30. Okay, I have got Deb Harris. Deb Harris. It's fun just to look through those magazines. I will be having lots of magazines in the next sales because I have a lot of them. It's fun just to look through them and look at the old ads and look at the recipes and the way that things were back then. Some mm -hmm. things aren't so great, but some things are. Uh, little thing, this older stuff house turned 55 yesterday. Oh, happy birthday! Happy, I think I messaged you happy birthday. Happy birthday. Where are my Arizona people? Do we got any Arizona people in the house? Are they called Arizonians? Is that what you're called? But I have an Arizona plate. Now, this has a warning that it's for decorative purposes only. You may not eat off of this plate. But this is the... Arizona plate, the petrified forest, the Grand Canyon, painted desert, camel, oh, Camelback Mountains. My dad went to Camelback High. Camelback High in Arizona. My dad was graduate from Camelback High in Phoenix, Arizona. So this Arizona plate doesn't have any flaws on it at all. It is $8 and it's number 32. $8, $8, number 32 for the Arizona plate. And it has its hanger. All right, I have Tammy Vintage Tidbits. Tammy Vintage Tidbits. I know you were gonna stay in Indiana. Arizona plate? Maybe, maybe Tammy's gonna give it to somebody else that looks in Arizona. Camelback High, it's where he went to school. Okay, I know one person that's really wanting this, and that is this Vintage strawberry cutting board. Look how fun this is. It has the leather handle on it. It says, be kind. Be kind. Save. Wait, what does that say? Be kind. Save. Pace. Use this side. Okay. I don't understand that, but be kind. Save pace. Use this side. So... Basically, use this side because you don't want to. You don't want to ruin the strawberries. It's basically, in, in a nutshell, what it's saying. Um, I did get this at Goodwill, and unfortunately, Goodwill wrote in Sharpie on the wood. Wow. Wasn't that nice of them? Thank you, Goodwill. Yeah. But it's on the side, and you can't really it's, see. It's so save nice. face. Yeah. Oh, I was I like, save face. What the heck does that even mean? Save <laughs> face. But it's a cool cutting board nonetheless, and it is sixteen dollars. And it's number 13. $16, number 13 for the strawberry cutting board. <sighs> it is very cute. She must not be watching. We may have to save it for her. No one's going to want to buy it because they know who wants it. They do. All right, so we'll save that. She must be taking a break. All right, who likes buttons? Who likes buttons? Well, I got a whole bag. I got a whole bag of buttons that can be yours. They are, these are all vintage buttons. Some of them are Bakelite. 
I've got some metal eagle buttons in here. There's just a big bag o buttons. And there's no mili- well, I mean, I don't know if these would be considered military, but they're not like- my dad's probably having a heart attack right now. They're none of your military buttons that you are saving, Dad, I promise. The only ones that are somewhat similar are these little eagle buttons here. And I've got big buttons and little buttons. There's all kinds of buttons that you can use for all of your crafting needs. And this bag. And it probably weighs a couple pounds, I would say. But you get this whole bag of lot, whole bag of vintage buttons for fifteen dollars, and they are number fifteen. Oh no, number fifty-one. Button lot, fifteen dollars, number fifty-one. Okay, Kendra Joe. Kendra Joe. Those are coming to you. All right. Draw the next number. Ooh, a lot of people like the buttons. All right, I have an offer up of, oh no. Yeah. Nothing broke. That thermos was just jumped out at me. Of Donald Duck. Now last week I sold Bert and Ernie. This week it's Donald Duck. Donald Duck. We're gonna do an offer up because I didn't quite know what's put on him. I didn't know what's put on Bert and Ernie either. So Donald Duck, now he has a little bit of smudge right there that I haven't even tried to really clean off, but maybe I'll try to get that stain out. But look at his little feet and his little tail. Now, true, here's a little fun fact. My grandmother made this, but I kept the one that she made for me. These are just ones that she had just, she made extra ones. That's kind of what she did in her spare time, just because she liked crochet. So we have Donald Duck. We're going to start him at $10 and you may start. Ten dollars for Donald Duck. Here's his little duck tail and his little duck hat. Isn't he cute? And his little duck feet. But we're starting him at ten dollars for the crocheted Donald. He is really cute. Look at his little fluff of hair. Nobody wants that beautiful thing. No. Nobody wants Donald. Deb Harris won the magazine. Yes. Bert and Ernie are absolutely pristine. I almost cried when I opened the box. I know my grandma made this. Oh, Karen wants Donald. Karen wants you, Donald. $10. Look at his little mouth. You can make him talk. Have hours of fun. 15 seconds left. 15 seconds left. He's got a little jacket on. Got 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. I see $12. Three, two, one, stop. Stop. And I think Karen got you at $12, Donald. Donald. Huh? Little Donald. I Little Donald. I see Rebecca U. Oh, Rebecca U. At, at what? 13. 13. Rebecca, you're going to go join your buddies, Bert and Ernie. Oh, yeah. Yay! They've been together for a long time. Now you're going to be with them again. Yay, Don! Don Duck? Oh, he was number 45. I got it. Thanks, Rebecca. You have all three. That's right. Yay. Collection. <laughs> all right, well, I have another offer up. Are you ready? Let's put the card that I drew next. Now, I have these two beautiful... Horse paint by number. And you need to specify. Yes, I, I'm selling them separately, by the way. I am selling them separately. So, so I'm going to show you the differences first. I have the one horse. We're going we're gonna to focus on this one first. I have the one horse. This is horse A. So we're going to start the bidding at $10 on horse A. You could... You can let me know if you want the frame or if you want me to, there's no glass, if, or if you want to save on shipping and you just want the, the, the print itself. So let me know in your email. So we're going to go ahead and start it at $10 and start. This is for horse A. We're starting it at $10 for the vintage horse paint by number. I see $15. I see 20 
$20. This is just for this one horse. $20 is the That's offer so up to be $25. And you'll have to let me know if you want me to include the frame. There's no glass. Got 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. He is a beautiful horse. This is in pristine condition too. There isn't any, any markings on it. It's very, very nicely done. 30 seconds left. I'm seeing $26. 28. $28. Got 15 seconds left. 15 seconds left. 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. The one horse, the offer of number is $28 to beat. I'm guessing that person did not mean to put 200. I'm okay, guessing not done. 200. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah. We're done. All right. Stop. Grandma's going to refresh. And yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Okay. That's what I can have to do for you. I appreciate that. So this one's going. Okay, I have got Butterfly Nurse at $28. Butterfly Nurse, go into your collection for $28. But wait, we got another one. We have two horses, a mama and her baby. This one is letter b again the same scenario if you want the frame that's fine if you want to save on shipping and i will ship it without the frame there's no glass and we're starting it at ten dollars as well and start ten dollars for the mama and the colt paint by number you let me know if you want the frame as well i'm seeing see 15 15 dollars $20. For, $20 for the mama horse and the baby. I see $25. $25. We have got about 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. Vintage paint by number. The mama and the baby. I see $29. $29. For the paint by number of uh, the mom horse and the baby horse. They're in very good seconds. condition. 15 seconds. I see $29. I have got five seconds left. Five seconds left. Three, two, two one, one, stop. stop. Okay. And grandma's going to refresh and we'll see who gets the mama horse and the baby. And whew, make sure that you do let me know if you want the frame. I have got Butterfly Nurse at $29. Butterfly Nurse, they're both going to you. And do you want the frames? Instead? Yeah, and just let me know if you want the frames. If you want the frames, I will send them in the frames. If you don't, then I will uh, send them. Paint by numbers are very popular now. If you are in a thrift store and you see a paint by number and yeah. it's at a good price, buy it. So they are, they're selling quite... Well, send, the frames. send them in the frames. Gotcha. I will do. And you know, you've gotten, you've bought them for me before. I'll pack them very well. All right. Next we have, oh, I'm not going to do another offer up right now. I'm going to do something different because no. <laughs> this is getting, I love you. But... Yeah, we're going to, we're going to do something different. Okay. I have, oh, I don't know if you guys will like this, but I think that it's charming and it's a little bell souvenir from the Great Smoky Mountains. Um, I bought this at a yard sale from a retired teacher, and he said that he bought this his very first year of teaching. So it was just kind of a neat story. And being the former teacher, it just kind of, kind of touched me a little bit. But this says, he said he kept it on his desk for years. When you want attention, you'll never have to yell. Just give a friendly tinkle on this little bedtime bell. So cute little bell from the Great Smoky Mountains. And this is $6 and it's number 10. $6, number 10. I love the Smoky Mountains too. I I would like to go. It's been a couple of years since I've been there, but. All right, Cindy Lou Who. Cindy Lou Who. I just thought it was cute. You could like give it to, well, you don't want to give it to your children when they're sick or your husband when they're sick, but maybe someone will give it to you and let you use it when you're sick. People can bring you things. Okay, I've already done that one. 
Okay. I have this beautiful orange colored planter. Oh, Misty, you didn't get the sticker out of here. You know, I don't remember to do everything. Okay, there we go. So this is a beautiful orange planter. It's not really picking up the color. It's it's like a, a pumpkin orange. So I thought it'd be very pretty uh, for this time of year. You know, you can put a floral arrangement in here. You could just keep, I don't know, you could, I guess you could serve something out of here, maybe. But I like the pumpkin orange. Um, this planter, I don't know who made it. It's not marked. It is a U.S. made pottery, though I can just tell by feeling it. I like the, the, the design on it. This is $15, and it's number 39. $15, number 39 for the pumpkin colored planter. We have Trina Warner. Trina Warner. Gotcha, girl. All right, I like this too. These can be pretty, pretty collectible. The ones that are like a glittery gold, those are really good. This one's a little, it's a vintage compact and it says it is Illuminations. Sunflower Tan by Helena Ra Rubenstein Incorporated. That's the sticker that's on the back. My guess is this is from the 60s. It's a little compact. Ooh, there's the mirror. And it still has the makeup inside. It is, is Helena Rubenstein. I'm assuming that's the name of the cosmetic company. But it's in excellent condition. I know people do collect these. Uh, this is $8, and it's number 26. $8, number 26. If anything, these look really nice on in a bathroom uh, display or bathroom vanity. The design on the compact is like a little floral design. Okay, I have got Auntie Christie. Auntie Christie. Cosmetic company. Helena Rubenstein. That's another fun name to say. Um, Michelle is leaving. Bye, Michelle. You're falling asleep. Well, uh, you know, wait, Michelle, you may not want to leave just yet. You may not want to leave just yet because I just pulled the number to these. Do you see these, Michelle? They're cherries. So she, she hopefully she didn't leave. There's three cherry glasses. You get three of them, all three of them. Um, I don't think, now there's no maker. And I didn't look my bo in my book to see who these were made by. The Decorated Tumblr is an awesome resource book, but I didn't look. But these are $16 for the set of three of them. You get all three. I know. Why only three? I don't know. But that's usually what we find. For $16 for all three of them, and they are number 11. Michelle is a vampire. I know she was up late last night. She had a busy day at the bins yesterday. All right. Left lane finds. <laughs> Sorry, Michelle. You were just one vote, one bid behind. Uh, Michelle. Stayed for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she stayed for nothing. Just kidding. Poor Michelle. She's a seepy girl. <laughs> Hey, Michelle's having a sale tomorrow at uh, 1 o'clock Eastern. So make sure that you tune into her sale tomorrow. She got a lot of good stuff at the bins. Some really pretty epic things. A couple things I hope, I'm hope i hoping that she keeps and she makes them her own little baby Jeff Jeff because they're hilarious. All right. Next, I have a chocolate box. Funny story. I actually bought this for Jeffrey. He collects chocolate boxes. The straw, no, oh wait, before I show you this, Laura is back. Laura, nobody claimed it. I think everybody's scared of you, Laura. They knew that you needed this. No, Laura, it's, it is, was never claimed. It's $16 and it's number 13. If you want it, say it. If you want it, Laura, it can be yours. Um, Carol, Michelle's channel is Michelle Comfy Cozy Living. It's just like her chat. Yeah. Her username. Yeah, everyone wanted Laura to have it. Nobody bid on it, Laura. They all knew that you needed it. It was like, nobody's like, Laura? 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 All right, she's got it. Got you down for it, Laura. 
Um, chocolate box. Okay, this I bought this for Jeffrey. <laughs> I bought it for Jeffrey because he collects these chocolate boxes. He likes the Whitman boxes, and I found another one. I I met and I I, you know, sent him a message and I said I found you another chocolate box. Turns out it's the exact same one. So I'm selling this one. This one is a Whitman's prestige chocolate box very much looks like almost like a treasure chest this box it does open very nicely it has a hinged lid so these people are collecting these these chocolate boxes this is $15 and it's number 16 $15 number 16 for the Whitman's chocolate box you can right. store other Lori things besides Lori Wortley you can store other things in there besides chocolate. You could store, you know, your jewelry. All kinds of things. Okay, I sold one of these last week. I have, and I have one more of these to sell. This is an antique men's wallet. It's not a women's wallet. It's a man's wallet because a man would put it in their suit coat. Um, the, there, it is a hand-tooled leather wallet um and the it is part of the strap is missing it would have had a buckle that buckled right in there my favorite part about this is when you open it up it has his name samuel l brooks in script and it just says this why this side it just says um i don't know Je joseph l brooks so samuel and joseph um, but that's where they would keep your monies, your bills in there. So I don't know. I just like the history of it. I think it's just a really cool piece. I like the design on it. This is $10 and it's number 42. $10, number 42. I loved the script written in there. We have got Kathy Morrison. Kathy Morrison. I do have one more of these that I will be selling next week. Those men's men men's antique wallet. Documents question mark? Maybe. Documents. Imagine the Wild West. I know. You could just see like Wyatt Earp, you know, getting that out. Paying somebody off with it. Alright, I got some corns. Look, they can be finger puppets. Sugar Britches, are you still watching? You're eventually gonna break something making them finger, finger puppets. Finger puppets. They're little corns. They are made in Japan. Oops. They don't have their stoppers, but just cute to put on a tiered tray for this time of year. Salt and pepper shakers. They are $6 and they're number 53. $6 number 53 for the corns. The corns, the corn shakers. I have Auntie Christie. Auntie Christie. I've got another set of salt and pepper shakers that I haven't drew yet. I've got a couple more things. Oh. This is the last offer up. So, who likes Fenton? Have the paint by a number sold? Yes, Jamie, they have. Hi, Jamie, by the way. It's century wasted. Who likes Fenton critters? Well, I've got a Fenton custard glass bird. And it has its Fenton. Um, it is signed underneath the sticker by the artist, but I, I just, I can't, I'm not going to take those stickers off, but it is hand painted by Fenton, the sticker on the bottom, and you will also get the bunny, also hand painted Fenton, mm -hmm. there, what, does it glow? well, I'm going to get to that, hold oh. your horses, mm -hmm. hold your horses, um, there's an issue with the bunny, so you're going to get both of them. The bunny has a broken ear. You can see right there. His ear is broken. But, I mean, I'm not throwing them away. I'm not throwing them away. They're going to be together. They're going to be buddies forever. Yes, they do glow. Oh, the lights are really bright. They do glow. Maybe if I held one of them up at a time, you'd be able to see better. Can you see that? Is that coming up? That uh -huh. it glow? Uh, you, can, you can tell. Yeah, they do glow. They glow. But you'll get the set, and we're going to start them at $10. You do get both of them. You get the little baby bunny who has a broken ear, but it's still very pretty. And you may start. We're starting them at 
They do glow. You get the Fenton Bird and the Fenton Bunny as a set. They glow. We're starting them at $10. The bird is in perfect condition. It doesn't have any issues at all. The bunny is just, the little nugget is just going to go with them because I can't throw them away. I see. 25 is the highest. 25 is the highest for the custard bird. Excellent condition. 30. $30. And you get the bunny as well. The bonus bunny in the bird. Got 30 seconds left. <clears throat> 30 seconds left. I see 35. Really pretty hand painted. They do glow. The paint has a texture to it as well. Right. Same as the beak. 38, 42. 38. 42. $38.42? No, I mean like 42. Oh, $42. Cents. I was like, no, we're not doing 42 cents. Okay. Five seconds left. Five seconds left Three, for the pair. Two, one. Stop. And Grandma's going to refresh. You're going to be buddies and you're going to go to the same home. Goodness. And live and glow happily ever after. It's your new home. Grandma's going to double check. Okay, I have got Tippy Winks Vintage at $46. Tippy Winks Vintage at $46. Thank you. Yeah, they're very, very cute. And I have... Well, for some reason, I've got a couple more things and I don't have cards for them. So we're just going to wing it and I'm just going to make up a number out of my head. This idea, <laughs> Graham's like, oh, great. Uh, I have some stuff that you didn't ever show. Yeah, I know. I, I don't know but why I don't have cards for them. Will you write down what cards I'm missing mm -hmm. so I make sure that I have them for next time? Like what numbers I'm missing? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I have this mug here, right here. Dad picked this up and he wasn't quite sure about it, but I think that it's really cool. It is a home, it's a hand thrown mug. And I put my little air plant helper in here just to kind of give you an idea of what you could do with it. But it is, it is a hand thrown on a wheel, a pottery mug. It's wonky, it's funky, but I, I like this kind of thing. You can see they put some sort of a design Look like they just put a like a pencil eraser all the way around it. It is actually pretty nicely done, I have to say. If I made this, it would not look like this. They've added the handle. I like that it's kind of wonky around the I don't it just it feels good. It's like a matte finish to it. It's just a cool mug. Somebody made this. There's no signature on the bottom. But you know, I mean you can put a plant in it. I don't know. I just like it. I like it. So it is eight dollars. And it's number 21. Hi, Nate. It just feels good in your hand. It's just, I like it. It's glazed on the inside. So you can drink out of it. But $8, number 21. Do you want this? I mean, yeah, I can use those numbers. Okay. I mean, that's oh, what you have to do. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know where the numbers went. Yeah. Okay. Did anybody want the mug? I don't think so. That's fine. Okay. I think yep. Sue Golombeski. Sue Golombeski. I love saying Sue's name. I liked it, Sue. I liked it. I just want to pop in and say hello. My internet isn't working. Oh, that's okay, Kylie Cat. Thank you for popping in. Oh, we're glad to have you. You're glad to have you. I like that mug, Sue. I think that it's neat. So it is going to you. All right. So I have another. Offer up. Well, I have. Well, this is not an offer up. I already had these. They're sitting here, so I'm going to show them. And I'll just make up a number. They're these cute little squirrel shakers. Nice little fall collars. The little squirrels. They're holding their nuts. They're holding their nuts. Brown and yellow. These squirrels are number sixty-five. I should. I messed up. But they're six dollars. Number sixty-five. Six dollars, number sixty-five for the squirrels. They do not have their stoppers. They're just little cute little things. Tammy, I gotcha, gotcha, Tammy. I'm scanning around my table to see if I missed anything else before I show you the thing that I know that I missed. Well, this did not sell. Let me show this. This is a copper tea kettle. It has the the top of it is dented in. I stuck some flowers in it. And it, 
you know, that's what you can, you can use it for a display. Stick some flowers in it. You can use it to water your plants, whatever. It has a neat wooden handle and a wooden finial on top. This is number, or it's $16, number 38. $16 for the copper, it is copper, kettle. $16, number 38. And then, what else didn't? I just gave you. Well, yeah, that list, but then I thought I had something that did not. Oh, the tangerine can. The tangerine can, the A and P. What was that? That was a copper kettle. Copper kettle. It was a. 30, number 38, $16. Yes. Did you want to see it again? If you want it, just let me know and I'll put you, put you down for it. Copper kettle. And then I have the steel A and P tangerine juice paper label. These look nice. You can put a display, use them as hype on a display, and then put other things on top of them. It's empty. It is $8, number 27. And I think that might be it. But then I have these couple other things over here. Okay. Gene uh, Norman got 27. Gene Norman. Gotcha. Oops. I threw the wrong thing away. So I have, now I have a quilt. I have a, an antique crazy quilt and I did take measurements. Yeah, look, look at me go. Look at me go, I took measurements. I know. So it is a beautiful and it's in excellent condition crazy quilt. I had taken a picture of it and put it on Instagram. It is an 81 by 77. Come on, yeah. Graham's going to measure the coffee kettle. I have another copper kettle right here that I'm going to sell on Instagram. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. But this quilt is, let me find the date. It's a crazy quilt. And on it is... Where is it at? I've like made myself a small little area and I'm looking for the date. It's a little over Here it eight is. inches. How much? Over eight inches tall. It's just a little over eight inches tall. $16 number 38 for the kettle. So this crazy quilt is dated 1906. It is an antique crazy quilt. It has hand stitching. It has some wool pieces, some silk pieces, some velvet pieces. It's beautiful. Um, I, it, there's no holes in it, no rips in it. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It, um, there's a couple, pe a couple places in the wool. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, here's a piece of wool that it has a couple little moth holes in it right there. It is gorgeous. Now, here is the thing. Here's the thing. It, I believe that probably in the 60s or so, someone had put a different backing on it. So they've replaced the backing because I don't think that they had this yarn in 1906. I'm just saying. So they've replaced the backing on it. And it's this brown with blue and purple yarn. I don't think they have that in 1906. But it is, like I said, it is 81 by 77 is the dimensions on this beautiful, beautiful crazy quilt. I am not doing this as an offer up. I'm just going to ask what I need to get out of it. And I'll see if I can sell it here. If I don't, I will list it on eBay for a little bit more money. Um, so... Yarn in 1906 would have been wool. Yeah, this is not wool yarn. It is more modern yarn. Um, but the backing is hand stitched on there. I will say that. So it's not machine stitched on. Um, but I'm asking $110, which is a really good price for this quilt, uh, just to save me time taking pictures and putting it on eBay and having the eBay fees. But I will be able to sell it for more than that on eBay, but I wanted to offer it on here 
on my live sale for a hundred and ten dollars it's this is like the, the best condition of one that i've ever seen so i will say that it's just beautiful so if you want this quilt it is number 58 and it's a hundred and ten dollars plus shipping so i know that's a really good price that, it, that is a really good price okay. yeah we have got Lori wortley Lori Wortley, you want the quilt at $110. Okay, it's coming to you. It's beautiful. I thought about keeping it because I don't find these very often in this beautiful condition. And Michelle bought the matching pillow. Well, it didn't. It, it's a crazy quilt pillow. It didn't necessarily match this. But I will get this to you, Lori. It's beautiful. Look at that velvet. Yeah, it is gorgeous. I have never seen one in this good of condition before. So thank you, Lori. Yeah. Oh, Lori, you're a quilter? I didn't know that. Oh, that's amazing. Yay. Well, I, I mean, Auntie Sash says that you're a quilter. So maybe, maybe Auntie Sash, maybe, do you, are you a quilter, Lori? Okay. Yeah, I could have put it on eBay, Rebecca. I know. I, I probably could have got about $150 to $160. $180 maybe on eBay, but then I have to pay the eBay fees and I have to take pictures of it. And you know, I just, I just wanted to sell it. I wanted to offer it to you guys. I got what I needed to get out of it. So, oh, she said it above. I didn't see that. All right. So I have a couple things on here that I'm going to show you now real quick, real quick. I have three things. Then I'm going to go over to Instagram and I'm going to I have more things to sell and I'm doing a giveaway on Instagram, but these things were not claimed in, well, I, they, I never heard back from the people. So I'm, I'm going to show them to you now. I'm not doing it as an offer up. I'm just going to do them as a straight price. One of them I did sell as an offer up and I never got her information. So she, I didn't know who she was. So that's just what happens. So the first thing is this Tonala pottery duck. It's a beautiful Tanala pottery duck. It is $20 and it is number 61. $20 number 61 for the duck. All right, I have Yoso Boho Rescue. Yoso Boho. Rescue Treasure. Gotcha, Yoso Boho. Oh, I'm not going to put that one in there because... All right, then I have this cute, now I can see this in a frame, this cute little doily of a bird. Isn't that pretty? You just found one of those ducks, Jamie? Oh, they're good. I love finding them. But look at this bird doily. Wouldn't this be pretty in a frame hanging on the wall? It has this really pretty, um, very thin uh, crochet huh, around it. So here we go. The bird is $10 and it is number 62. $10, number 62. Very cute. Right. Oh, you collect Tanala. I have got Amy Cornwell. Amy Cornwell. The doily is coming to you. And then the last thing is this bottle. It has a very strange base to it. It is Palmer toilet water. You know, perfume. Um, it has a New York label on it, but it's Palmer toilet water. It this is Palmer's here on the bottom, but the bottom of it, it's like it, it's like it's melted. It's glass, but it, it, it's, it's like it's got excess glass on the bottom of it. I don't know. It, it's just odd. It's just an odd bottle. But anyway. It doesn't have any cracks in it. It's just the way that the glass is on the bottom. It's just different. It's $8 and it's number 63. $8 number 63 for the Palmer toilet water. This will look good in a bathroom. I on a brought Joelle Nadel. Joelle Nadel. Okay, so those were, those. that's everything for YouTube. Thank you guys so much. 455 people watching, 392 thumbs ups. I'm happy with that. I'm thrilled with that. And I'm putting a link to your Instagram in the chat. Oh. He's putting a link to Instagram in the chat. My Instagram is just thrifter junker vintage hunter. 
Um, and I'm going to sell 15, 16, 17 things over there. I got two other things I'm going to sell on there that I just added and I'm doing a giveaway and we have just as much fun over there. Let's, so let's get her to 10,000. Let's followers. get me to 10,000 followers on Instagram. About 40 followers away. You are 40 followers. Away. I'm 40 followers away on Instagram. If I get 10,000, I'm going to have me a drink tonight. <laughs> I'm going to have a drink tonight. If I can get to 10,000 <laughs> followers, okay? A drink, not just a drink, but a drink. I'll, I'll also celebrate, but I'll <laughs> <a> drink. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to go back and give me a thumbs up and all that kind of stuff, but I'll you see you. Email us about oh. stickers too. Oh yeah, 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 before we go, stickers. I have these Stay Weird Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter stickers um, that you can order directly from me. They are $4. Send us an email and box. send me an email if you would like to purchase one and I will either add them to your order or I can mail them to you. The shipping will be free. So yeah, yeah. see y'all on Instagram y'all. Okay. All right. Bye guys.